Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking the Dogs. This week we're out of the kitchen and we're taking to the streets. So if it looks like a puppy, acts like a puppy and sounds like a puppy, it must be a puppy, right? We had to stop and look at this amazing puppeteer. With all the strings attached to this puppy, he fooled everybody. But would he fool Roland? Let's find out what happens. Now why do dogs sniff each other when they first meet? A dog's sense of smell is very advanced and it can tell a lot of information from sniffling and snuffling. The average dog has over 200 million scent receptors in its nasal folds compared to a human's mere 5 million. Now that's a great sense of smell. We can see from this exchange that Roland is not impressed with the puppy. He doesn't pass the sniff test. He doesn't smell like a puppy, yet he acts like a puppy. So one more check out and Roland is off. He's totally disinterested. Roland was very excited to meet this gorgeous and very pretty chocolate female toy poodle. Poodles will often go out of their way to say hello to another poodle. The most recognisable feature of the poodle is its curly coat, which is very thick and can be quite a hard texture. It can be clipped into one of several forms, and this one this little girl is wearing is the traditional lion clip, whereas Roland has a teddy bear fluffy cut. Now poodles are very smart, they make excellent companion dogs. They're light-hearted, elegant, friendly and high-spirited and they've got a very happy nature. And their sporting and clown-like tendencies make them an ideal family dog. They like to stretch up on their hind legs and dance with each other. You can see how they could easily be trained as a circus dog. The poodle breed comes in three different sizes, standard, miniature and toy. The miniature and the toy poodles are very popular because you can easily tuck them under your arm and take them anywhere. They'll even pop into a handbag if it's the right size. The miniature poodle will stand between 11 and 15 inches in height and the toy poodle is a little smaller roughly 11 inches in height. A great benefit of owning a poodle is it has wool and not dog hair and it's hypoallergenic. So if you or the kids get asthma or have any allergies, a poodle is an ideal pet for you. With the right equipment, you can groom your poodle yourself at home. Check out our video on how to groom your toy poodle. Roland and his girlfriend are both two years old. You can see they have lots of energy, are very playful and like nothing better than to run around and play. Most poodles I know also have a real thing for fluffy stuffed toys. All good things must come to an end. Say goodbye to your girlfriend Roland. When it comes to a mixed breed puppy like this little fellow, the dog will often take on the characteristics of the breed it most looks like. He looks like a beagle pup, and beagles use their noses and great stamina to wear down their prey. The beagle breed is a scent hound, and it'll bark and howl when it encounters the scent of its quarry. Ruby the lovable lab and Roland are off to the beach. The beach is a great place to take your dog where they can have fun and learn how to socialise with other dogs, great and small. How cute is this little West Highland White Terrier, or Westie as it's commonly known? The Westie originates in Scotland and is a great little dog. It has all the courage of a terrier but will seldom pick a fight. It enjoys the outdoor life and is equally happy and content on the sofas of suburbia. They have a lot of character and are very social. 
Many families have both a dog and a cat, and they're nearly always the best of friends, in spite of the fact that the cat is supposed to be the dog's natural enemy. If you buy a puppy and a kitten together, they'll grow up to be quite used to each other. However, if you are introducing a dog into a home where the cat is firmly established, you'll simply need to train them to get used to each other. Roland's playmate Mitzi is a boxer breed. Originally bred as a guard dog, the boxer is a strong, energetic and active dog, and they do need a great deal of exercise. Roland's always up for fun and is quite happy to be a part of any game that's going on. This little cutie pie is a fox terrier. They were originally bred to hunt vermin. They're active dogs, usually small to medium sized, with a variety of coat styles. They're full of confidence and quite feisty. They'll need to be well trained and controlled, and many of them love to dig. The name terrier means earth, and they are definitely expert tunnelers. Did I mention they love to catch rats and snakes? This little terrier is still a puppy, but an adult terrier will be about 15 to 15 and a half inches in height and should weigh 7 to 8 kilograms. The colours they come in are black and tan, white and tan or white, and they've originated in Great Britain. Just as well, Roland's a dog and not a rabbit. Write in and let me know what kind of dog you have at home. Does your dog do something funny? What do you love about the breed of dog you have? Thanks for watching our show this week. We'd love you to subscribe and share this video. Check us out on our other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Once again, thanks for watching, have a fabulous week and bon appetit!